Breaking crypto news. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. We got a lot to talk about today. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. So the market has been very spiky for the last few hours. This is what I anticipated. This is what I expected. Up and then down and then up and then down and then up and now down. Uh, now that we got the news coming from the federal chairman, uh, as expected, the federal chairman or federal reserve leaves interest rates unchained, remains at 525 to 550. What could shock the market? And that will happen in about 30 minutes. So we'll get a recap of that in about in a few hours, three, four hours from now, we'll recap that. Uh, but the federal chairman didn't say anything yet, but the market sold off. So it's kind of weird uh, when we see these kinds of FOMC meetings, it, history has told us that it's probably the bottom, but we don't know, right? The past three year have been Two were the bottom. The other one that was coincided with CPI wasn't the bottom. Uh, and uh, we'll see what he has to say. If he says things that are dovish, right, or good, then potentially we could see the markets running. By the way, the stock market um, actually popped back up. It's up two uh, percent. So stocks are popping, right? But crypto is dropping. So that's kind of weird, right? Crypto is dropping. That's kind of weird. Usually they they they'll move together. This is a, a detach that I haven't seen in a while, which is kind of weird. But interestingly, finally with Ethereum, right, we have seen uh, a first day that we saw inflows, right? So if we had um, days and days and days and days that there are only outflows, right? Yesterday we saw 33 million in inflows. Uh, and although uh, Grayscale still has um, outflows, is going and getting smaller and smaller by the day. Uh, and so that could be very, very important, very huge. If you remember when BlackRock, sorry, when the Bitcoin ETFs uh, started having a situation where there weren't really any more outflows from Grayscale, we saw the, the price of Bitcoin go up. Could we see the same thing here with Ethereum? That's going to be interesting. Shiba Inu uh, is just mimicking what the rest of the crypto market is doing. A little bit up, a little bit down. There was a big candle here, a big sell-off, but there was a, a big buy here. So this is kind of interesting. I don't know. Was it the same value? That would be weird. That would be real manipulation, right? This candle here was 83 billion. And this candle here was 87 billion. Could be some manipulation that was going on here when you see these types of candles. Maybe someone was doing some shenanigans here. Uh, that's that's very interesting that I noticed this now for Shiba Inu, uh, but we'll see we'll see what happens. Now, someone might say, well, the reason why the crypto market it hasn't been pumping today is because uh, we saw another Mount Cox move. Uh, so they sent another three billion worth of Bitcoin to BitGo, uh, and this is the fifth and final custodian working with them uh, to return funds to creditors after these transfers. Bit Mount Cox now holds only three billion, uh, including the new uh, Mount Cox addresses. So there may be another one coming, uh, and that's it. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. And once that is off the shoulder, I think that will be important uh, for the crypto market going forward. Uh, this is a very very dangerous market for for sure for day trading. So just be very very careful out there. Okay, but we know that uh, 5 billion shorts will get liquidated if Bitcoin hits 72,000, right? And remember, we talked about my theory that the government was trying to manipulate uh, the, the market from not going in over 72,000. We just saw 3 billion, you know, moved. Uh, so at the end of the day, is 5 billion actually a lot of money? I don't know. But uh, in, it is in, in a sense, but... How much short squeeze could we get from that? That's the question. Someone else said that that the, there was a mistake for Trump to come out and say that he was going to create that reserve because that just gave a reason for the Democrats to be, oh, you want to make a reserve? Okay, let's start selling you know the, that asset. So you won't be able to even uh, you know do that, and then we'll be able to say, see, he didn't promise, he didn't uh, fulfill his promise. So I don't know, but that's you know politics and and all the shenanigans behind it. I saw this and I thought it was funny, so I wanted to share it with you. It says here, this is the official Shiba Inu uh, Twitter account. Uh, it says, Google knows too, 
right? And it says crypto from the dictionary. It says short for cryptocurrency, short for cryptography. And it says, by the way, the best crypto is Shiba Inu. <laughs> uh, I just, I found that a little bit funny. Uh, of course, it's not real, but <laughs> uh, but in, interesting uh, with the Shiba, you know, we're seeing a lot of people, I'm sick of Shib. Uh, you know, it's not moving. It's not this, it's not that. I, I understand, I feel it. Uh, but I have told you before, I'm a long-term investor in Shiba Inu. And so these little, you know, a few months ago, we were at 800. Now we're at 1600. We're up 100%. I'm not greedy, right? I I remember what, where we are, where we were three, four months ago. Uh, and so, you know, but I understand that people that are new or people that bought here, or people that bought here, it's, it's rough, okay? So very interesting uh, to see what will happen with Shiba Inu. What will happen with the rest of the meme coin market as well that's, Kind of flat as well, not a lot happening. Um, so, so we'll see where the market uh, can go. Uh, and I, I like this, uh, this. I don't want that. All right here we go. Um, crypto investor, hey mate, 90 days have been when Lambo, right? God candle, please, sir. Hodel, I don't want to pre rich anymore. <laughs> Post rich, please don't touch me. Bull run faster. <laughs> My landlord is coming. <laughs> So I feel that a lot of the comments are, are you know, these gorillas, uh, and, but it, it's, it's okay. Um, those that are patient, I think that will be rewarding at the end of the day. And look at this. Tether did 5.2 billion, yes, with a B in profit, in the first six months of the year, almost 1 billion in profits per month. They did this with less employees too, less than 100 employees too. Insane, right? Um, Think about this. They're making money from Tether. They keep printing more and more Tether because more and more people want USDT. More and more people are like, yes, give me crypto, give me crypto, give me crypto. And we're not even in the, the peak of the bull market. So think about that, right? Just every time they print another billion USDT, usually the market pops. So I'm, I want to see uh, when, when they do that again. That's going to be interesting. Uh, and we'll see what the federal chairman has to say. All eyes are looking at um, the, the next uh, meeting in September, but what he says today could have a big effect on what could potentially happen uh, with the crypto market going forward. Like I said, the market is pulling back a little bit, which is a little bit surprising because the stock market is, is going up. Um, right, the stock market is going up. So maybe the crypto market is waiting uh, for Powell to speak. We've seen that before. Sometimes when the announcement comes out, we get uh, a sell-off or a pump. Uh, basically, leverage positions are getting screwed here. I made a video this morning talking about how to, you know, the possibilities of, of leverage trading today uh, and the risks. And one of the risks we talked about was that it, it sells off in the beginning and then pops or the opposite, right? And so this is a very, very tricky day. It's a very volatile day. Uh, it's, you know, short movements in and out. Uh, but even that, it's it's kind of, you know, risky. Um, I've been trying to, to reduce my my trading as much as I can, um, you know, and, and I think I'm going forward, I might do that as well, uh, especially going into August. I feel that I need to be more engaged with my with my family because <laughs> um, there's no camps. So I, I got to be more engaged. <laughs> uh, and so uh, we'll see how that plays out. But it's going to be very interesting to see uh, where the market uh, goes from here. Uh, and, you know, we're seeing a little bit red, but, you know, it's part of the game. It's part of the part of the volatility. And I'm not freaking out about any uh, any of these short term moves that we are seeing here today. Because next time we talk, uh, when we recap what the Fed chairman had to say, we might be back in the green. I've experienced this before, so I'm not I'm not ready to claim anything just yet. Don't forget to smash the like button. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money. <laughs>